Hello and welcome to What's the Tea in l and &E. I'm Emily. And I'm Leah. We are management side employment attorneys with Woods Rogers. And today we are talking about... When decor in the workplace contributes to a hostile environment. Yeah, kind of like a passive harassment type of situation. So um, the case that we're talking about today, um, you might have heard of the company Shutterstock. Uh, well, they're a very on, large online photo company and an employee complained, among other things, that he was being harassed on the basis of, basis of race um, because they had blackface uh, in their content library. Images. Im images of blackface. And then Shutterstock uh, defended themselves, among other reasons, uh, but they said they couldn't, they couldn't uh, remove the images featuring blackface from their platform um, because they were justified for teaching purposes and uh, algorithm changes on the site would create too many technical issues. So the employee has filed suit, and this is one of the things he uses in support of his claim that he was subject to harassment. Yeah, and harassment from an environment standpoint, hostile environment, mm -hmm. has to be an employee experiencing unwelcome and offensive conduct that is either severe or pervasive, that is based on a particular protected class like sex or race, um, and that an employee is enduring it as a condition of employment. And so I presume this employee is saying, hey, I'm going into our online content library and having to see these images and they make me feel uncomfortable during my work day. Yeah, and that's not the only type of image that can cause problems for employers. Wall hangings, posters, what are some other things you've seen? Oh, we had a situation where um, a physician in a physician's office in a case um, had a uh, pi picture in his office of a naked woman on a motorcycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that other employees were having to pass through the office. Um, had a situation where an employee had Confederate flags on his vehicle, all over his vehicle, side, front, back, on the license plate, and he was showing up to work and parking outside of the workplace. And that made employees feel uncomfortable and unsafe. And at first the employer was like, well, what should I do with this? Like, can I do anything? This is his car, you know, and it's in the parking lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, an employer has to address these things, just like you would every other complaint of harassment. Yeah, and in some instances, even art, especially in the South, art often features slavery. Um, even there have been some instances of like slavery ships being, you know, portrayed in art that's hanging on the walls. All of that you want to take into account um, it, because it could lead to a harassment claim. Yeah. So not only investigate these complaints and take prompt and effective remedial action, which may mean a makeover of the workplace, um, but it also may mean at least once a year, take phys physical stock, walk around the company as a manager, as an HR director, and take a look at what the workplace looks like, because it might be time for an update. And keep an eye on employment laws via your friendly employment council, because we're talking today about the federal standard, but some states have become even more strict, which means that employers have even more liability for these type of instances. So keep an eye out and follow us for more updates. Awesome, well thank you for joining us. It's been What's the Tea?